to the polls. Rose Schmitz live at the Elbert Park polling location on Madison's west side with more on what is accepted, what's not, and how you can make sure you can vote today. Good morning, Rose. Good morning. Well, in less than 30 minutes, voters will start heading to their polling places. Now, as you can see here, we've already seen some poll workers come out this morning. They put out some signs getting ready for today's election. Now, um, a Wisconsin driver's license or ID are the two most f common forms of identification that they take at the polls, but you could also bring certain other forms, such as a student ID, a military ID, or a passport. Now, for your ID to work at the polls today, your address does not have to be correct, and in that case, please bring something to prove your current address. Your name on your ID doesn't need to be an exact match in the poll book for you to cast your ballot, and the clerk's offices want to remind you that out-of-state IDs will not work at the polls. We have been doing a lot of work on reminding people to bring IDs to the polls. Mm -hmm. You know, the law changed and, and now you have to bring an ID to the polls with you and, and not everyone knows that or remembers they have to. Your ID should look at least a little bit like you, even if you've lost some weight or shaved your hair. The photo ID should reasonably resemble you. Now, to find out where your polling place is or to find out what's on your ballot, you can go to myvote.wi.gov or head to our website, channel3000.com, and we will bring you the latest updates from the election results as we get them tonight on News 3. All right, Rose Schmidt.